Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the limit if it exists, and if the limit does not exist, explain why. So we have the limit as x approaches 0.5 from the left of 2x minus 1 over the absolute value of 2x cubed minus x squared. So if we're approaching 0.5, right, at 0.5, um, 2 times 0.5 cubed minus 0.5 squared, you plug this in, you're going to be dividing by 0. So obviously we can't plug in 0.5 directly, so we're going to have to do some limit laws. However, to do that, we have to get rid of the absolute value first. And so we know that the absolute value of x is equal to negative x if x is less than 0, and x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And therefore, we need to say, OK, we're approaching a value of 0, but is it from values less than 0 or values greater than 0? So if we just plug in 0 0.49, right, 2x cubed minus x squared equals negative 0 0.004802, right, so very close to 0, obviously, because we know that at 0 0.5, we're going to be exactly 0, but less than 0. Therefore, this limit is equal to 2x minus 1 over negative 2x cubed minus x squared, right? If we are approaching from values less than 0, then the absolute value of the thing is equal to negative 1 times that thing, right? The absolute value of x squared is negative x squared, if x is less than 0. The absolute value of 2x cubed minus x squared, if x is less than 0, is... Um, negative 2x cubed minus 2x squared, negative that. Therefore, we can say that the limit as x approaches 0 0.5 from the left, and I'm also realizing this should be y, um, it's the actual value of the thing that's um, being put out. So I'll, I'll clarify this because it's a little unclear, right? the absolute value of some function is equal to that function if the function is greater than or equal to zero. Not if x is greater than or equal to zero. Um, it's if the thing itself is actually greater than or equal to zero. Um, so here, 2x cubed minus x squared is less than zero. Therefore, it's equal to negative times that thing, right? It's not just the case where if you're plugging in x here, it's x if x is greater than or equal to 0, so that's why I got confused. But uh, just one more time. 2x cubed minus x squared, when we're approaching 0 0.5 from the left, has values that are less than 0. Therefore, when we're taking the absolute value of that, you have to take negative of that to get what the absolute value is, because you're taking the absolute value of a negative number, so it becomes negative of a negative number, the positive version of that number. And now we can proceed with the actual simplification of this fraction. So you have 2x minus 1 over, we want to factor out an x squared from these terms. So we have negative, factor out an x squared. We're left with 2x here minus 1. 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 cancel each other out. And we're left with the limit as x approaches 0 0.5 from the left of just one on top, and on the bottom, negative x squared. Therefore, we have 1 over, plugging in 0 0.5 here directly, because we're no longer dividing by 0, negative 0 0.5 squared. This is 1 over negative 0 0.25. This is negative 4. Therefore, the value of the function, right, as x approaches 0 0.5 from the left, the value approaches a value of negative 4.